Alright, so I'm making another video, and this one is less about chainmail, not really much about chainmail at all, <clears throat> but mostly about nerf stuff, because recently I've very much gotten into nerf stuff. And so first I'm going to show you my arsenal, which is not really much of an arsenal, and then I'm going to show you how I'm making some custom little special darts, which I can use. <clears throat> I can actually load two of them in place of each one dart that I would normally put in a clip, and they scatter, well, they don't scatter very much, but they are, there's two of them, so they're better. Not quite. <clears throat> First, I have my trusty map, and I made a sheath holster for it, and it works pretty well, it doesn't move around too much. I upgraded the spring, I uh, did basically all of Drax mods on it, I did the barrel drop. I took the air restrictors out, I, up, I stretched out the spring, put a few pennies in it, and then I also hollowed out this area <clears throat> and put an extension spring in there and attached it to the piston so it's got a little bit more power. I, it might help, I'm not exactly sure. It seems, it's definitely better than a lot of other, than most other Mavericks, and it seems to be getting comparable ranges to other people's larger guns whenever I'm shooting Second, I have my trusty Alpha Trooper, which I also took the air restrictor out of. And I wanted to put my long shot spring in it, but it wouldn't fit, which is really unfortunate. So instead, again, I came in with extension springs and stuck them up in this portion. I'm not going to show you that, because it's something you should never do. It was a lot more pain and trouble than it's worth. <clears throat> Finally, my pride and joy, I have my long shot. And my long shot, I took out the original spring and instead put in this was the original spring and instead I put in this spring which is much stronger. <clears throat> it's been getting good ranges and it's pretty strong. I got this stock from Drac. He's, he's a cool guy. And I made some of his mini clips I put steel on the bottom instead of plastic, because that's what I had lying around. And I can fit <clears throat> either regular streamlines, my own modded streamlines, which I put two quarter inch 18 gauge rings in, or and then hot glue it all in the tip. Or I can put two of these smaller darts in, and it acts kind of like a shotgun, but it's relatively accurate and still kind of long range. <clears throat> the double barreled shotgun that Nerf makes this is significantly better than that because it's a clip system you can fit more darts in and it's much faster in the action and so I made two of these little mini clips because I had two clips lying around and that's my long shot and I took a couple pieces out of the inside that didn't really help with much which means I can fire it and it'll prime but it won't really help anything well no it won't prime I can pull the trigger when it's primed, and it'll shoot the bolt forward a bit. <clears throat> if you want one of these springs, they come in packs of two at Home Depot, and I'd say it's a pretty good idea to get one. I also think I improved the seal, but I'm not entirely sure. I think. Yeah. I think I tried improving the seal on the Alpha Trooper, but <clears throat> when I put any tape on, it just became too tight a fit for the spring that I had in it, and it didn't work very well. It just made it awful. Although it did improve the seal. <clears throat> now, on to darts. I've been messing around with darts all night. Alright, let me see. First, I take the tip off of whatever dart I'm using. I've just been... I started off taking apart a couple of streamlines, but since I don't really use these suction tip darts, I've been doing it more recently with these. So I just peel this crap back and peel it off a bit and then twist this out so I don't pull any crap out. <clears throat> just set that aside because it's useless. Then I take my handy X-Acto knife, you can use any kind of cutting instrument, and cut this sucker right in half. so that I get these. And then, <clears throat> I put 
some hot glue inside. Wait, no, first, sorry, for the hot glue, I take some of this wire, 14 gauge wire, galvanized steel, and I cut some small pieces off. I put three of these in each dart. <clears throat> and they're all more or less the same length, which is maybe 3 16 of an inch long. I'm not exactly sure. I'm eyeballing it all, and it's fairly accurate. And then I put a bit of hot glue in here. Just about one squeeze. It might vary depending on your hot glue gun, because one squeeze might be more or less depending. And then I drop these little guys right in there. Oops. <clears throat> then I place it upside down so that all the glue will congregate and melt towards the front of the dart, and that'll make it better. And I've already done that with several of these. Then, I come in and form the dome on the top. This just takes practice. The first couple domes I made were absolute crap, and they ruined the dart's streamlinability, and they were terribly inaccurate and flew all over the place, but <clears throat> I've gotten better. And so, you just get some practice and squeeze it on there pinch it off a bit. And you'll want to make sure you get all the little hot glue strings off, because I've had some occasions where <clears throat> I've um, had those little strings end up pulling the darts all over the place when they were still drying and the tips got ruined and I had to put new tips on. And that made me sad, so it's just not fun. And that is my first Nerf video. And basically you just let these things dry in a quiet corner. If you can make it a cool corner, then that's even better. But, <clears throat> basically that's good stuff. Have a great night.